Hello, my name is Mr. Sagreen and welcome back to another episode of Lifeline. In today's episode, we will be expanding the company, so I'll be making two new shops. Um, so I guess we can quickly jump into a building time lapse. Well, it is finally complete. So I'm sorry it kind of ended uh, back there, but I was struggling with the banners. But it's up there. This is the cafe. So this has a bunch of this oxidized. Well, it's oxidizing at the moment. Um, also, it doesn't help if we have Joel Lamb come wax these every now and again. But yes, if we go on the inside, so we have a sign, cafe, company approved. And then we can go in here and we have the signs with all the prices on it. So pumpkin pie, one stack equals one diamond. Uh, golden cat, half a stack, two diamonds. We are profiting. But I, we haven't made any diamonds recently. So I might just move it back to a stack. A stack, two diamonds. And then etc, etc. And then we have these little seating. So I have the copper lamps underneath to give some lighting sit down and have your coffee or whatever this is where all the products are stored then you can come back out here and you can eat or sit outside um as you can also see neat freeze has covered the pumpkin and melon farm which looks really cool by the way she's an excellent builder but yeah this is her building i'm pretty sure she'll have this in her video so make sure to check that out and this is the trading hall which she will also have in a video i assume but this is massive she also did a good job with this so on the inside we have the book villages selling all the books we need then above here we have all the farmer villages so we can get golden carrots then if we go down here we can access the breeder but we can also have this back storage here so we have all extra stuff and then this is all of our profits so we so 15 for me seven for him we we've made so many by the way so let's say 15 we've made about 60 diamonds from just products and then we did make like i think half a stack each because we sold some totems um in here we also have a backlog of rockets we need to sell these rockets and we can't sell the rockets without a store so if we go over here this i have all the materials ready but you don't know what's inside of there yet but the rocket shop's going to be located right there so let's not waste any more time and jump in with a building time well let me correct myself uh, i meant a material montage Okay, now that we have uh, gathered all of the resources, um, there's one quick thing before we build the rocker shop. Neatrice has requested something from me. I have passed the 100 days. You've passed 100 days? So have I! Yeah! And, um, well, you are in your last life, right? Yeah, I, I'm, I, I unfortunately was a noob and died a lot. Yeah, well... I also died twice, but I 
think what after this, I want to do the real hardcore challenge. Okay. So, I want you to murder me until I'm on my last life. You sure? Should... Let me quickly set my spawn. Yes, you... I'm 100% sure of it. Okay, you, you really sure? Yeah, I'm really sure, yes. Okay. Oh, that sounded scary. Your... That, had, that had like a... A warden sound. Yeah, this is crazy. She wants to do the full hardcore thing now. So, at least I get to murder her. So technically, she would have lost three of her lives to me. Yikes. <laughs> Mine was caused all by myself. So... And we also should sleep. Sleep. Choo! <laughs> Uh, so uh, which color is my name now? Light red. It feels so weird to see you on a different color. Oh, okay. Ooh. You need to murder me again. I need to be in dark red. Ooh. Okay, now I'm on my last. Now Thank we're you. both on dark red. Now it's real hardcore. Ooh. <laughs> uh, you were too pro that you had to get killed two times. Yeah, let's just put it that way. I'm quickly gonna put the totem back in my offhand. Wait, just in case. so does that mean three of your deaths was caused by me? Um, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that's not good. No, it's fine. No, it's fine. It's funny. Okay, so the other day when we were resource gathering for this next building, which will be in the next episode, me and Neatrice got some more deep slate diamonds when we went caving and then this is already our 44 diamond blocks we already have so we are getting close so let's quickly stack this up and let's see how much we get um but let's mine all this and see how much we get so comment down below how many diamonds you think we're going to get with this currently we have 44 diamond blocks and five diamonds Okay, so we just finished mining all the diamonds. Let's see how much we got. So we got three stacks and 55. Let's see how much more diamond blocks we're going to get. 28. Oh my goodness. So Neatrice has decided to drop down to her last life so she can play this out in real hardcore. Um, That is because we have hit 100 days, which congratulations. But I guess with all this, we should not delay uh the rocket shop anymore and jump in with another a building time lapse Okay, I had a stroke uh, building the rocket shop, as you could probably see. The time lapse took incredibly long. Um, the sign really messed me up, okay? 
But as you can see, we have the clear a rocket shop sign. I have added all the leaves around. And then I have also added all the bibs and bobs up here. There's supposed to be rails here, but we are currently running low on iron. So I'm not going to be wasting all of it. And then we're not going to go inside because as you can see, I have not yet decorated. I will do that on a stream. Um, I don't know when that will be, but it will be probably this week or next week. But yes, the rocket shop is officially built. So I tried to add some like broken brick parts here more foliage to make it so this part is transitioning into my area so that's why there's more leaves and then you have this style of building starting to incorporate so we're going to go from here then it's starting to transition over to this style um there are three floors to this so there's the bottom floor the medium floor and the top floor so i quite like this build it was just a pain to build. Um, this copper will eventually oxidize, as you can see, to the blue one. But I guess that is going to have to end it there for today's video. Um, because we have simply run out of time. But I hope you guys enjoy. We have built the cafe, the rocket shop. Neat Freeze has built the melon farm and the trading hall. I killed Neat Freeze two times, or technically three times, but you know. Um, we are actually selling stuff in here. That is not selling anything right now. It will sell rockets, TNT, and gunpowder. I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, please like and subscribe and comment down below. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.